fell in love with music despite my disdain for piano lessons. My name is Ryan Lott, and I scored the greatest hits. At some point, my teacher, her name is uh, Sarah Manili Kiter, she said, you know, like, why aren't you practicing? Because I wasn't. I said, um, it's just not fun anymore. She just like looked me in the eye and she said, at some point you're gonna have to decide if music is going to mean more to you than just fun. So I went off to school to uh, Jacobs School of Music at IU at uh, Indian University and studied composition and piano there as well. One of the things that was really important um, for me early on was that I started writing music for dance. It was writing music for dance that was actually my in logistically um, to writing music to picture because I was often working with choreographers um, over long distance. Rather than just scoring a live movement, I was reco scoring recorded movement, which is essentially, you know, like scoring film. And then I had this day job that was where I was uh, scoring ads. And so like cranking out tons of music every week, you know? And that's where I feel like I, I developed this, the tools between scoring dance and scoring ads, short form stuff. That's where I feel like I developed the tools I was gonna need to, to, to score film. When I got the call for my first film, which was from Ned Benson, the director of The Greatest Hits, he had heard Sun Lux records. And the same was true of the Daniels um, for Everything Everywhere All at Once. They were Sun Lux fans. And then, must have been like 2021, 20, I guess, he texts me, he's like, you wanna do another one with me, buddy? <laughs> yeah, so. Scoring The Greatest Hits is a, was a really cool challenge because songs from different artists and different bands is a huge part of the movie. So then the giant question was like, well then, what is the role of score? Our protagonist, Harriet, she has this metaphysical experience with music. It literally transports her. Um, the score supports our understanding of her experience of this music and how and why it is so transporting. So I had the, you know, the traditional role of coming up with themes and things that felt like the characters, but then I also had this additional role of reconciling the ways in which the existing songs by other artists engaged with the scene. She's constantly swarmed by, by vinyl. Um, and so uh, integrating the sound of the, f the physical needle against the, the vinyl, the, the crackle, the floor noise of the recordings. Um, there's a key scene where David, her, her new prospective love, takes her to a silent disco where she's safe because she doesn't have to wear the phones and they can be in a romantic setting, they can dance. <laughs> In that scene, I lean heavily on a these very high frequency, like glistening string textures called bariolage, and then also a synths that have like a brighter sound. And maybe most importantly, the introduction of a voice-based instrument. It's created from the sound of a woman's voice, my, my good friend Katie Chastain. And so when I play this instrument that is essentially her voice, we hear all this beautiful high frequency information, but it's high fidelity, it's, it's, uh, it's in a new context. Another instrument that appears on the score, but in an abstract way is uh, the bass clarinet. I created a, an instrument that's playable from a keyboard of a live recordings of a bass clarinet with a lot of breath in the sound, a lot of reed noise and, and also some mechanics of the instrument. Again, high frequency sort of clicks and clacks like crackles and pops, cellos um, with lots of uh, bow noise. And of course, piano is a big part of it. Um, it was important too that there would be a sound that was, that was also explicitly familiar. The only traditional scoring sessions I did for this were just recording myself at the piano. It wasn't about going and recording a big orchestra or um, plugging in a bunch of synths. It was just, it was really about honing in on the specific colors of a scene and, and, and dialing them in with, with a lot of specificity. So my, my primary uh, tool for harnessing the raw sound is software called Contact. It's just a software sampler. What I, I basically do is I pull the audio in to the computer, into the contact sampler, perform that sound again via a MIDI controller. In my case, I use like a piano keyboard. From there, I have infinite flexibility. I can, I can you know, change any note, I can change how fast, how loud, how it's color, anything like that. One of the great 
privileges of doing this score was also creating an original song with Nelly Furtado. She brought it. I feel so happy with how that song turned out, and it's all magic.